Children battle a continent's biggest problems by stopping here in Terre Haute. You've heard of the stories of disease, famine, and wars in Africa. But tonight, some young children are hoping you'll hear a different tune. News 10's Rhonda Moore has the inspirational story of how kids are using their voices to rise above. Just a few hours before the show, Maryland Community Church in Terre Haute seems silent. Listen closely. And you can hear the sounds of hope. Kids excited, happy, making some joyful noise. We dare you not to smile. They're practicing for a concert, but they're singing for much more. They all come from really poor families, <clears throat> but as you can see, um, that's not their current identity. Look at their faces, and it's hard to tell many of them come from places like this. Homes ravaged by famine, disease, war, yet they keep singing and dancing all across the globe, winning fans and raising funds that will make a difference. Money for the approximately 8,000 children that we provide school fees for in a number of countries around Africa. Giving kids like these to a brighter future. Me, I want to be a president. That'd be nice. But now it's time for the show. It's filled with singing and dancing and those trademark smiles. You can see those smiles are contagious. The people will give their money to help combat the complex problems facing African education. But the kids have a simple take on it all. I like drumming, dancing, and, and just praising God. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Nick Nabesny, Ron Moore, News 10. And you can find out more about the African Children's Choir by going to our website.